Shortly after 10 p.m. on June 7, 2021, 53-year-old Alec Murdoch made a frantic call. Are they breathing? No, ma'am. He was calling from his family's sprawling property in the woods outside Hampton, South Carolina. Before that call, very few people outside of Hampton knew his name. Now, Alec Murdoch is known across America, even the world, thanks to more than a year of coverage that sounds less like a crime story and more like a southern gothic tale of trust and betrayal. It's from Faulkner, it's from Shakespeare, it's from Grisham, and I think it really is some element of all three. The story really began almost four years ago when Alec Murdoch's son, Paul, crashed his family's boat on a dark, cold creek, tragically killing 19-year-old Mallory Beach and injuring several others. Anthony Cook was Mallory's boyfriend. I loved her for a long time, years. Do you think you would have gotten married? Yes, sir. When I asked her to be my girlfriend, that was me knowing I was going to marry her. Mallory's death devastated her family, as well as Anthony's parents, Beverly and Keith Cook. I always felt like the boat crash was going to bring something to light. Mallory's dad, he told us, my daughter will not die in vain. This is going to be He says it's going to be a greater good come out of this. That's what he said. A month after the funeral, attorney Mark Tinsley filed a wrongful death suit on the Beach family's behalf. Among others, the suit named Alec Murdoch for allegedly allowing his son Paul's underage drinking. They really wanted to make sure that this didn't happen to somebody else's daughter or son. Tinsley had filed a motion hoping to finally get access to Alec's financial records. I was asking for all of his account information, checking accounts, savings accounts, retirement accounts, everything that pertains to a person's finances. But then, just days before his court date, the case took a dramatic and fatal turn. 52-year-old Maggie Murdaugh and 22-year-old Paul Murdaugh were found shot and killed. What followed were allegations that Alec had stolen money from some of his clients. Personal injury attorney Justin Bamberg was one of several lawyers who offered their services to anyone who thought Alec had ripped them off. I think that Alec had been doing this for at least two decades. And then, this past July, the other shoe dropped. Alec was charged with murdering his wife and son. What say you, Richard Alec Murdoch? Are you guilty or not guilty of the felonies wherein you stand indicted? Not guilty. What do you expect we'll see in that courtroom? I think from the defense, we'll see a very aggressive um, boundary pushing defense. So I think we'll see kind of this laying out of a methodical case on the part of the prosecution and then trying to poke holes every which away from the defense. Really interesting. So there's going to be much more uh, tonight in, in the episode, new to our dateline, including some all new interviews. Also, more information about Alex's murder trial, which is scheduled to start in January. Uh, so tune in. Dateline tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Central. Also, keep an eye out next week for an original podcast about the murder case. Uh, it's with me and our producer, Carol Gable, That's who's cool. been covering South Carolina stories for couple decades. You knew about this family even before all this before happened all this, in South Carolina. Down in South Carolina, the name uh, Murdoch was legendary. Mm -hmm. Legendary. Until now. Of course, you could argue it's still legendary, but for different yeah, but reasons. For different reasons. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thanks, Greg. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.